Hey everybody, Ed Homewood, Old Guy Hi-Fi Channel. I hope everybody's well today. So today's video is really a public service. I feel like I need to give back to our community. Uh, so today's is a playlist for the hearing impaired. And believe me, once you listen to these, you'll wish you were deaf. So I wanted to put together something that was just kind of fun and lighthearted. And I could have done the easy thing and just listed a whole bunch of Yoko Ono songs because they're all terrible. But I have, trust me, I've got a few. So the first song, and I'm going to read from a script, I apologize. I want you to remember me, A. I mean, what can you say? Yoko is a unique artist who's fam who got famous because of who she married. I recommend being drunk before you listen to any Yoko song. The next one is Don't Worry, Kyoko. Mommy's only looking for her hand in the snow. Again, more booze, honestly. Maybe strong double scotch. Touch Me Again, another Yoko song. And by now you should be plastered. I mean, it's the only way to enjoy this nonsense. So here's one from a guy who is legendary for being an absolute moron. Bite It You Scum by Gigi Allen. What can you say about this offensive and repulsive animal? His live performances often feature, often feature transgress, transgressive acts, including self-mutilation, defecating on stage, there's a class act, and assaulting audience, audience members for which he was arrested and imprisoned on multiple occasions. All Music, a review form, called him the most spectacular gener degenerate in rock and roll history. Guy's a beaut. We have another one from Gigi Allen. Be my effing whore. I'm sorry. You'd have to be deaf, deaf to listen to this dirtbag, and I don't know how he ever got anybody to, to listen to his music. The next one is a song called Cops for Fertilizer by the Crusa Fs. And uh, they're hailing from Lansing, Michigan. This band was known for its anti-authoritarian lyrics, often rife, rife with obscure and perverse humor. The band sought to go beyond the pale in terms of lyrical content, attempting to be offensive as possible. I mean, it's really bad. And I, I would blame it on the lead in the water in Lansing. I think that's probably the reason. All right, another one is I Hate People by the Nowhere League. Excuse me, the Anti-Nowhere League. Sorry, I got that wrong. One of the many, many talentless hard punk bands that come out of the hooligan, hooliganism that was the British punk scene in the early 80s. It's raw, it's dirty, it's obnoxious, and everything British punk rock is reviled for. It's really bad. 1312 by The Casualties, known for their drunk punk. Their songs are a visceral attack on your ears, bodies, and your sensibilities. Fun. Five Finger Discount by Choking Victim, another wonderful band, known for their lifestyle and squatting in buildings around New York City. This group of knuckleheads was credited with helping launch the crack rock steady subgenre. Really nice. Now, this one's a bit weird. This is the Art Ensemble of Chicago, the Waltz. Now, you would think with a name like the Art Ensemble that they would be artsy. Uh, maybe to those people who like to watch someone defecate into a bowl at an art gathering, an art house exposition. And honestly, it sounds like a bunch of toddlers got into the instrument closet at school. Really. Next one is uh, Anthony Brixton. Now, I, this one's a challenge because Anthony Brixton can be a very fine jazz saxophonist when he's playing someone else's music. But this one is called Composition 107. And it really, it sounds like me playing the saxophone, just a bunch of random noises. Again, he is a good talent, but playing someone else's music. His compositions, I think, in general are not very good at all. Then we have George Crumb, who is an avant-garde composer. It's called Ancient Voices of Children. And it starts out like, oh, this might be a song, but oh my God, does it go sideways really quick. And, it, you know, he seems to take his music, the sheet music, run it through a shredder, shredder and then just kind of randomly piece it back together. And then that's what they play. And again, the final analysis, it's terribly difficult for the, the listener to comprehend whatever message he's trying to convey. Then we have Sequenza by Luciano Berro. And this is a, this is a flute piece and it's just annoying, uh, annoying at best and very difficult to follow. Again, it sounds like me playing the flute. Then Sick Love from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I had to do that for John Darko. I'm not a Chili Peppers fan anyway. And the last one is Bling, Bang, Bang, Born by the Creepy Nuts. Now, this is Japanese hip-hop, J-pop at its best. And honestly, it's actually kind of fun to listen to. Uh, it's got a little bit of a beat, but boy, it's, it can be annoying. 
Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. It was all done tongue in cheek. Um, I, I didn't, I'm not trying to offend anybody. I mean, all the Yoko fans, I, again, I'm sorry. You don't have any taste. But I would appreciate your comments. I would appreciate if you guys have any other songs you think are completely annoying and perfect for deaf people to listen to. Let me know. I may do a follow-up video, uh, videos for the blind. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, I hope you had fun with this one. Please give me a like and a subscribe and have a great day. Thanks so much.